Oh, 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 you best believe it, boys. Mm. I wish she could have fucked. Alright, so as some of you know, and I do say some because a lot of you are like, when are your videos coming out? For the time being, I'm working on a windowsill for stop motion stuff, and I don't know when I'm going to be moving to a different apartment, and I have all my diorama stuff in storage, so I'm just going to make a temporary road and background and some buildings, and I'm going to be using yellow pieces of paper for the paint on the road for the dividers and little windows that I'm going to be putting on like a cutout of some buildings as well and I just wanted to show you what I'm going to be working on if it's something you want to do yourself. Okay so like I said the main base of the road here is just going to be on black poster paper. Originally I wanted to get grey but they didn't have any so I went with black. I'm going to try my best to add some details with Sharpie and different pens. I don't know how well it's going to pick up, but I'm going to also use different pencils. Um, if you wanted to, you could probably dry brush um, gray over top of this if you ended up getting the black one as well. Uh, I don't have my paint with me, so I'm just going to be using the black um, poster board here. Like I said, I'm just gonna be adding the yellow paper. Ooh, that's bright as hell. Just the yellow paper, I'm gonna be cutting those out, adding the different lines on the road. Um, maybe um, if there's a gray in here, doesn't look like it. I was gonna say, I could add maybe a sewer lid as well, just on the road, but, um, I'm just going to let my creativity take over, see what ideas I can come up with. Uh, I'm going to be doing just maybe two to stretch out the road, and then two I'm going to cut out silhouettes of buildings, and then I might do graffiti or something on the buildings with a different color of paper. I'm not sure yet, but I'm just going to start with the road for now. I kind of enjoy how the pencil looks on here. I can probably add a lot of different detail and shading with the pencil or the, po uh, the poster board. So I'm probably just going to bop to some music and do some of that and I'll show you where I'm at. Alright, so what I did here is just on like a regular piece of paper, I just very poorly scribbled a bunch of grey over it and then just cut it out. So I guess uh, when there's a will, there's a way kind of deal, you know. I already started putting the cutout yellow pieces there, adding a little bit of detail, and then we cut out a little puddle there. So it's already kind of taking shape. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to get much detail on here, but at least it's better than, you know, lines for the time being. Okay, so that's kind of what it's looking like so far. Got some details on the road, got the sewer there, just got some dirt, a little soda can there. It's been crunched up, ran over, started work here on the second one. But now I think I gotta just take these all off to see what I'm working with when it comes to the size. So. Looks like I'm moving these boys. Okay, so I removed all the figures and I got the Hulks here keeping those posters held up for the time being. And I was thinking just not even bother cutting any of the red and brown pieces of paper and then just cutting out doors and making windows and stuff. And then having a second layer behind this one which would be glued on first of just black silhouettes of like further back buildings and then these ones would be glued over top of that 
Um, I'm just going to have the blue backgrounds for the time being. I don't think I'm going to mess around with green screen or anything. And then on the sides here, I'll probably... Um, mm, I'll probably... I cut it a little bit. Hopefully I'll have enough so that... But what are you doing? No. Like I was saying, hopefully I'll cut enough off of the blue so I can kind of get it on both sides there and maybe I'll do like a whole brick wall idea on this side with like two red pieces of paper on top of each other so it's kind of like buildings and then like the side of a building here maybe the same on this side but like it's been too long since I've had like a background and like that needs to change boys Makes me overjoyed to see oh. a diorama again. Hell yeah. Alright, so I have the two blue poster boards that I cut just a little bit off of one of them and glued two pieces of black cardboard to the back to try and make it a bit more sturdy. And I have with the access of the black poster board. I cut out silhouettes of the back of the buildings there. And they're gonna get glued there. And then I'm gonna have buildings in the front as well. Different colors of the buildings that are gonna be going along the front. And then I'm gonna add details to these, add clouds and stuff. And then I'm just gonna put that into the back and then that should more or less be done. The fun part is just adding all the little details, like adding bricks and stuff to like the buildings, gonna add graffiti, but so far, so good. All right, so this is kind of what we got. I'm done for tonight. I'm really, really tired. Nothing like those 3 a.m. craft nights, am I right? All right, so that's kind of the vibe that we got going on right now. I'm gonna go to bed. All right, so I added just a little bit more detail onto the posters here. I added all the brick detail and some graffiti. And then there's some of the buildings, some lights, clouds I put in there. gonna take longer than I thought because <laughs> of doing all the little details just on the buildings and stuff but I'm enjoying how it turned out so far whoa it's a building look at that bro man this is taking so much longer than I originally expected but background ayo. so much cross hatching Okay, so this is kind of where I'm at right now. Added some graffiti just on the brick wall here. Some more details on that building. Been adding a lot more clouds and stuff. Uh, pretty much just got this building to detail and then adding all the yellow lights in the background adding some details in the clouds like that but other than that I think it's more or less done it's getting pretty close here uh yeah these nuts gaudy dog doing all these windows is so annoying like all the lights in the back for like the buildings I mean my building's done. Got all the details and stuff on that. All the clouds, background, sides done. These buildings up front, I think are done. So it's just these last little windows. And the main piece will be done. And then I'm going to, with red and then brown, um, just make the side of the buildings with like brick wall design. 
think I'm just I think I'll be done. So that's pretty leg. <laughs> so tired of crafting. Okay, so what I got going on here is two full pieces of construction paper. Um, just from these guys and then cutting one of them in half and I've glued and taped them together So they can, there's a bit more width to them and they're just gonna go on the sides right there And I'm gonna oh, oh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make them all bricks That's gonna be so 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 annoying So so annoying But I want to make good content, and I want this to look good. Ooh, that looks pretty sick. Would you look at that? That shredder is so mid, it's not even funny. Yeah, so, that's what I got going on. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Oh my god, I'm, I'm so tired. But, yeah, bricks. Gonna be like, building, blah, blah. Okay, so I think this is actually going to be the most tedious part because I've started doing some of the lines for like the brick details. And oh, way up there. And then I gotta do the details and then I gotta add cross hatching and cracks and stuff for the bricks. Ugh, I really just kind of want to power through getting this done now. <sighs> Does your brain hurt yet? All right, so I'll quickly show you how I do the brick idea, if that's something you're interested in. Oh, bruh, let me actually show you what I'm doing. All right, let's just start with that. And then you're gonna wanna do one, and then you're gonna wanna skip a row, and then go to the next one. And then, let's actually, let's make this a bit longer to really show you. It's very rough, but just to show you what I'm doing. And then in between each line, you put the second one that's in the middle between the lines. Something like that. And then... That's when I'm going to add all the detail and stuff like that. But it's going to just be lines that are in between the the rows, if that makes any sense. Hopefully, uh, these Alright, so I got some blue tack just on the back of the poster there. And I got the first wall on the side there. And then on the main base, and then just throw the other wall there as well. Alright, so... This is what the finished product looks like. Got some different graffiti and stuff on the walls. Different stickers. And this side of the um, building, I didn't decide to do the full brick wall because I was just kind of too lazy. So I just done this different type of building there. Got the laundry hanging. Got a window there. Purple Dragons logo. Some fries. That's where I painted on. Let's move some of these figures. Actually, this is what the road looks like. Got some garbage and stuff. I really like this corner. That looks cool. I don't know why. So, this is what you're going to be seeing in my videos for the time being. Because, uh, like I've said, I don't have my actual diorama stuff or all my figures right now. 
so I'm just gonna be making little skits but I wanted to at least have a cool looking background again so I hope this helped you out give you some ideas to make your own uh, display for six inch figures it took a maybe about a week to do with just poster board some glue and sharpie so I think that's gonna be all for this video and uh, thank you for watching thank you for watching yes you are welcome